Hello. I am going to test out different methods of making swatch circles because I'm just extra that way. And uh, I'll probably end up going with what I've always been doing. But before I start swatching out my inks in this book that I made out of my old uh, Hobonichi planner, I just wanted to... I mean, this is not going to be super detailed like some of the ones that you see out there. I'm literally just going to have the color swatches in there and what they are and maybe what pins they go in at some point. I'm just at this stage trying to plan how I'm going to put things in here. And I thought, because I like seeing all the different circles that everybody does with different things, that I would uh, test them out. And then I thought I'd turn the camera on <laughs> for it. So I've got here, this is a gel eyeliner cap. This is a yo-yo from a Christmas cracker. This is an ornamental nib. This is a Kakamori brass. This, um, thanks to Manda, I now know how to use is an automatic pin. I was using it so that these tines were down Apparently, you use it with the words up. Um, I have a blank with some scratches on it. Wax seal. I have... Karina Loves to Plan uses the cap to her samples. And I have a condiment cup. So, I think... <laughs> Hopefully, after trying all these, um, I'll kind of decide on a method. This is my new ink, Poppy Red. This is my attempt to buy a red that doesn't look like every other red that I have. So I haven't swatched this yet either. So this is kind of a swatching, practice swatching video. Um, okay, so let's do the condiment cup first because that's the biggest. And I think the way I've seen Leanne likes do it, she uh, does three drops. One, two, three. And then takes the condiment cup and swirls. Wow, that's slippery. <laughs> and it didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Maybe my condiment cup is not as good as her condiment cup. But yeah, nope, that's not going to be it then. Um, all right, we'll try two drops. And... The yo-yo. Well, for one thing, I can't seem to <laughs> twist in a good circle. Oh, that looks good. So far, yo-yo for the win. Um, and I like this color. It's pretty. We'll do one big one for the wax seal. Not really very round, but that also works. Uh, where's my gross cloth? And why did I pick the most staining color <laughs> to do this with? Oh, who knows? One drop for the sample lid. I like that. That works really well. I think I want my s dots bigger, but I do like that. Um, let me clean off my yo-yo. Still leaning yo-yo. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> it's totally stayed. Rubbing alcohol is my friend. Or isopropyl alcohol. Let's see. Okay, so now we take this. Uh, now we're going to try the... Um, Gel eyeliner. One, two, ooh, and way too much ink. Yeah, way, 
way, way, way, way too much ink. Seems to come off that better than the yo-yo. Oh, maybe I like way too much ink. Hmm. Um, okay, take that out, squeeze all the rest of that out, stick that in my cup. Now we've got the automatic pen. Will it go in the bottle? Of course it will, it's diamine. They know what they're doing. Okay, so if I decide I don't want circles, but a rectangle-ish shape, that will work. Kakamori. Thinking about, yeah, the thing about the Kakamori is it makes this scratching noise. <laughs> oh, it's not so bad, but sometimes it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't mind writing with it, but this, it makes a scratching noise and it's kind of grooving the paper. And I'm not even pressing hard. Um, what next? Okay, so we've got... This is the method I usually do. Loose blob. Um, I still kind of like the loose blob. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think the yo-yo. I'm pretty sure the yo-yo. The yo-yo or the loose blob. Because I want it to be kind of big enough on this, on the page. So kind of take up that much room. I'm leaning yo-yo. Isn't this color pretty? This is diamine poppy red. If I didn't actually say that, I have no idea if I said that before. But yeah, this is a really pretty red. I was afraid it would look like, you know, I'm correcting papers with it, but no, I think it's just pretty. Red is my favorite color. You'll probably figure that out when you see how many reds I usually have inked up. Um, though I seem to be going in a pink phase right now, but yeah, the condiment cup, it's flat, but that did not work. Or I did not work with it. I'm not quite sure which one it is. All right, um, I think that's it. I think, I think I'll go with the yo-yo in the book and I'll use the ornamental nib in the swatching on the bottles in the um, Warringal book. Kakamori to write, maybe. Though I do have Hokoro, which I prefer to write with. Um, that's it. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. Quick continuation. Um, I let this dry, or I thought I did, but the one where I put way too much ink on it, I never dried. But look, there's red sheen in this ink. And I'm not usually a sheen person, but I don't hate it. I don't know whether it's going to show up in the writing. Um, so I also took this stamp. There was somebody else on YouTube who was using this and a few of the other stamps in this series that they got off AliExpress to um, do their ink swatching. And I thought it was very cute, so I bought one of them because I'm not very good at stamping, as you can see by this corner. Um, I did this one with Shachihata ink and this one with Versa Magic, the archival chalk ink. And I thought I'd see whether that bleeds. Um, little tiny bit. I don't, I'm not going to be doing those double-sided anyway, so it kind of doesn't matter. But, um, I know that Versa Magic is the best one to use on Tomoe River paper. So let's see what happens when I... Oh, it's taking that ink with it. 
Okay, so not archival to the point of it doesn't join the party. And oh, this Shachihara is not bleeding. So it doesn't really bleed through too much and it doesn't pick up the ink and join us. Um, so if I do something like this, the Shachihara will be the ink that I use. But it, I don't know that I'm going to do something like this, but I just thought I'd test it out, see how it went. All right, and that's it. That's it, it, really, really.